and I have this one administrative note or want to get out of the way before we get down to business and that is I have a new name yes a new name for the boxing show and it is the left hook boxing show how about that thought of that while I was at work today and I'm psyched about it okay now let's get down to business we have got ourselves a little fight this Saturday night and it's gonna be a good one I can almost guarantee it these two fighters Juan Manuel Marquez and Juan Diaz they both bring it there's not gonna be a lot of dancing going on these two guys are gonna go at each other I've seen Marquez fight seen Diaz fight and these guys don't play around they will give you your money's worth and you're not even gonna have to pay pay-per-view if you got HBO you're gonna get it just by watching HBO and I man I am psyched about this fight it is going to be a good one okay a little bit about Juan Manuel Marquez great fighter a couple of fights of note for him he is 49 four and one and a couple like I say of fights that you remember him with was the two fights with Manny Pacquiao man the first fight he goes up against Pacquiao in the first round the first round gets knocked down three times bites the canvas three times but what happens after that he rebounds and he comes back and he fights it to a draw the 49-4 and the 1 was against Manny Pacquiao got the draw in May 2004 and then come back in November of 2007 they had another war and if you look at HBO and you go to boxing you can see some video of that fight and man that was a war and it again was very close but Pacquiao won it with a split decision and he got Pacquiao got one knockdown in that fight and that won the battle for him okay that's a little bit about Marquez let's go to Diaz this guy is also a tough fighter this guy's from Houston he's going to college political science if you can believe that I mean the guy maybe he's wanting to be a lawyer or something that's typically what political science majors do and he's in the boxing ring and I was just watching a little video they also have some video on him on HBO too and this guy punches and he can bring it and he was man he likes to go to the body he likes to go to the body boom, boom, boom. I mean bringing it this guy's 135 pounds man I tell you I wouldn't want to get anywhere near him I'm 180 and that beat the hell out of me I'm sure good stuff though and I look forward to this this is gonna be man this is gonna be a fight okay now a little bit about Diaz he's 25 years old and he is 34 and one his one loss was to Nate Campbell okay but let me say this the smack talk has already started and it's not coming from the fighters it's coming from the manager Juan Diaz's manager is talking smack and this is what he has to say I pulled this off HBO he says and the guy's name is Willie Savannah never heard of him but he's the manager okay he says and I quote I guarantee you Juan is going to beat Marquez and it's going to be a one-sided fight hello whoa one-sided fight Marquez is the guy that ring magazine currently has rated in its latest addition as the number two pound for pound fighter number two pound for pound fighter in the world and this Savannah guy the manager of Diaz is saying it's gonna be a one-sided fight well we'll see about that he goes on I'm one of those people who don't think any athlete gets better with age if people get better with age there ain't no need to create Viagra whoa 
Those are fighting words, buddy. There is a 10-year difference in age here. I sure don't expect a fighter who is going to be 36 in August keeping up with Juan. Well, hello, Mr. Savannah. Let me tell you something. Who beat your fighter? Nate Campbell. How old is he? 36 years old. So, if I'm Diaz, I tell Mr. Savannah to shut his little pie hole because I don't need any more trouble. And I tell you, I'm picking Marquez. You heard it here first. Marquez in round 11. And it's going to be a good fight. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to eat my words and Diaz wins because he's a good fighter and he can bring it. But Marquez is a seasoned veteran, and I think he is going to do the number on Diaz, and he's going to show him what a wily veteran can do. And let me tell you something about Marquez. This guy can go the distance as well. You know, you look at uh, Diaz, and he's pretty, uh, he's young. He's a little, I don't know, he's got a little jelly on his belly. He's not ripped like a lot of these fighters are. But hey, he can go the distance, and he can punch. But Marquez can do the same. I've seen him fight, and I pick him to win this thing. And that's what I have to say about that. Okay, now, we got a few things coming for you at the Left Hook Boxing Show. I'm going to bring up some things. I'm, I'm writing a damn book. How about that? A short story. And guess what it's going to be about? It's going to be about boxing. What else is it going to be about? And I'm just going to plan on reading some of the story right here on this show. And we'll see how you like it. Also, I'm going to bring up, i got a book here about Muhammad Ali, and I'm going to bring up a few things about him that I think you'll enjoy. So, until then, and you catch, you just wait, after the fight, you come to YouTube about an hour and a half maybe afterwards, maybe take longer than that because i got to upload this thing, but after the fight, I'm going to be given my after fight coverage you tune in here to see it until then this is rousey i'm out